Uh, let, let's talk about the, uh, uh, the, the movie, Public Enemies. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a great story. And I, th I think there was an era in this country when this was fairly common. Uh, after the Depression, uh, early 30s, we, we had outlaws who became folk heroes. And this is about uh, John Dillinger and, and his buddies. Uh, I saw the movie the other night and really enjoyed it. It was fantastic. Okay. Okay. Because I like it because, historically, it's the real deal, you know. And, and have you seen the movie? No, I've not. <laughs> I'm sorry, you've not seen the movie? Not just yet. And, and are you too busy to see it, probably? Uh, you know, I, in a way, you know, once, once my job is done on the film, it's really none of my business. <laughs> you know? really? really, none of your business. So, so you deliberately don't look at the finished product? Oh, yeah. I say as far away as I possibly can. Is that right? Yeah. I, I, if I can, I try to stay in as profound a state of ignorance as possible. Uh -huh. Well, you come to the right place. Yeah. You're, you're exactly where you need to be. You, uh... <clears throat> That's interesting. And is it, uh, and forgive me, is it a little insecurity? I just, you know, I, I don't like, uh, I, I don't like watching myself. Yeah. I prefer the experience. I mean, making the film is great. Right. The process is all fine. But then, then he's up there. Right. All right. So that speaks to what I was... I, I don't like watching myself. Yeah. I prefer the experience. I mean, making the film is great. Right. The process is all fine. But then, then he's up there. Right. So that speaks to what I was... It. And it all happens as she's starring as a kind of villain in the tabloid accounts of supposed jealous arguments and then a horrible breakup with her self-proclaimed first love, Justin Timberlake. You've had a rough year. You've had a year that would test a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Illness in the family. Mm -hmm. A breakup. This spasm of publicity about what happened in, from Mexico to London. It was pretty rough, yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Ah, weird. Hello. Um, oh my goodness. Hello. Ew, strong Um, yeah, it was a weird. The breakup with Justin. Did he sell her out on a music video? Britney's side of the single. He's left the impression that that you were faithful, that you betrayed the relationship. When prime time returns. Oh, hurts. That doesn't mean you're ugly. Dude, we're gonna do clips of you barking. Cause I'm I want to see that movie. Listen, what are you doing? You're zooming in. You're doing something weird. I'm listening. Why are you looking through the peephole? You're acting like a cameraman. Stop looking through the people. Okay. Listen. Uh huh. Do you want to see the movie? Let's go see it. Well, what? When is it going to be playing? Oh no. When did Spun come out? I want to see that. We'll have to go buy it on DVD. It might even be on the bus. Huh? It might have been on the bus. Huh? Really? Yeah. You're lying. I'm not lying. It was really on the bus. I said it might have been on the bus. I don't know. That's like a new movie and stuff. Maybe that movie is... I watched it fucking four months ago on DVD. Where have I been? Over here? <laughs> You've been on tour. Yeah, I've been on tour. I'm confused because... I feel like I've been missing out. Missing out on what? On life. I really don't think that that's the truth. You think I'm, this is what I have to talk about. Okay. 
I feel like I've been missing out on life. Like what part of life? Life. Like things and things going on. Like I feel like I'm behind or something. I know that sounds so weird. But no, I do. Not. It's all the partying. Huh? It's all the partying. What are you talking about all the partying? That's why you feel that way. What's that supposed to mean? Would you rather go out or would you rather go watch the movie? Huh? <laughs> would you rather go out? If you had a choice to go out or go watch a movie, what would you want to do? I'd go watch that movie and just drink at home. But what I'm trying to say is, do you ever feel like you, like can some people, I you ever seen Back to the Future? Mm-hmm. Is that possible to turn, try, try to speak? No. Yes, it is, Kevin. Okay, but not that we know of. Maybe, I think people can do that. I think some people are ahead of us. Well, maybe. But they would never tell the world. They wouldn't tell nobody shit. Could you imagine? How many people would try to go back and change? It was a mind control project where they did research on how to, uh, you know, influence the mind of man using electromagnetics. It also developed, evolved into a time travel project. They found out that they could actually bend time with the same equipment that they used to bend minds. Finding anyone till we know what's going on inside your brain. Are you wearing any metal, carrying keys or change? Any metal inside your body? Pacemakers, pens, bullets, steel plates inside your head? No, nothing. I see you didn't list emergency contact. I know friends or family. Um, just put on my employer, Charles Whitmore. This machine is super loud. I don't want these. You need the button. Button? Panic button. You need to stop, press it. Try not to, because we'll have to start all over again from the beginning. If you're in that booth over there, you'll be able to hear me. 30 minutes, okay? you to stop. Stop? Stop what? Someone has clearly affected the way you see things. This is a serious problem. It is, in fact, a violation. So whatever you're doing, whatever it is you think you're looking for, you need to stop looking for it. Do you, do you know what I'm looking for, Mrs. Whitmore? I don't know why you're looking for anything. You have the perfect life. On top of it, you've managed to attain the thing you've wanted more than anything. My husband's approval. 